Well, today I'm going to do a video review on an item I just bought uh, to capture video. It is the WeStar USB audio video capture card. It does 1080p at 60 frames per second. It takes a USB 3.0 connection on your computer. It's a very nice little system. Um, it came, as you can see here, I got the unit with the USB cable it also comes with a little mini instruction manual and a CD. Um, you see on one end, you've got your microphone audio input and earphone output and your USB 3.0 output. And on the other side, you do have your HDMI in and out. So basically you can put this in line to your item so it doesn't require a, a splitter. That's real nice on that. Uh, let me show you so what you get is the HDMI video capture USB device. You get the cable, which is a 3.0 A to A cable. You get your CD and your user manual. On the CD itself, it basically comes with the WeStar catalog, which I didn't realize they had all the products they did. So that's real nice to be able to have that. It does come with the document on the LBS Studio. Basically, this gives you a link to download OBS. It has the software for the AMCAP uh, demo software and then the pop player software, which both of those will allow you to play video capture. Like I said on the catalog, it's just a nice uh, detailed catalog broken out by product line, SDI, HDMI, video capture, audio capture, etc. Now this video capture card compatible equipment, of course it'll work around with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, uh, on the support, uh, I'm running Wirecast, which is working just fine. I'll show you that in a second. And then you've got your ANCAP and your pop player. So your ANCAP basically looks like this. Now I'm using, this as my uh, four port HDMI video switcher. So it basically comes with a preview. I'm only using two cameras right now. So that's the AMCAP version. Now this is the demo version, so it doesn't have all the features. And then on the pop player, this is what it looks like. It's basically the same thing, but the pop player gives you a heck of a lot more features. So between the two furnished softwares, I would go with the pop player because it allows you to do a lot more things with that. Now, just to show you what I'm talking about, I can bring in the uh, video capture card direct to my computer. Now this is bringing it in as a live feed from my Wirecast uh, as an input. But again, if you just want to see what that looks like, here's my Wirecast screen right now. So you can see I've got the Wirecast up. You can see the volume on that. It's very easy to set up. So it will definitely be easy to use when you're wanting to uh, go out for any type of streaming services. Let me cancel that. Clear this, and then I'll show you what this little device looks like again. So it's a really nice, affordable video capture card. It's great for if you had to bring in like a USB camera, a secondary feed. I have no issues with it and there's no hiccups with it at all. As you can tell, it's been working great with my Wirecast. So hopefully if you're looking for a video capture card that you can afford, this would be a good choice. Thank you very much.